Hey, how's it going guys? Nolan from Tacticon Armament, and I'm finally bringing it to you, you've been asking, and I'm here for you. A video on the Battle Vest V2. You're welcome. That's it. All right, so let's talk about this thing. What, what, are you, what are you getting, right? Like, that's the most important thing. What are you getting? First off, I am wearing this one. This one is in black multicam which is super cool and super hip, in case you guys weren't aware. Old Multicam Black, it comes in a multitude of colors. You've got Multicam, Multicam Black, Ranger Green, OD Green, Coyote Tan, uh, FDE, Tactical Black. I'm pretty sure that's it. But those are the colors that this bad boy comes in. And, you know, it fits every range under the sun. You're welcome. We're here for you, as always. Let's dive into some of the more specifications. It is a thick kind of nylon, heavy duty, fucking rough and tough. It's got your back, to say the least. It's on your back too. But let's start discussing what comes in this beautiful package that is the Battle Vest V2. So this is a no frills carrier. What do I mean by that? When you purchase this thing, it comes all together in one set, just like our other battle vests. We don't like selling you miscellaneous parts that you kind of have to search for and go, oh, what else do I need with that? Oh, what else do I need with that? Oh, what else do I need with that? Only to get your order and then be like, I forgot to order a set of cummerbunds for my plate carrier. And then you're just there with two plate bags looking like a silly. We don't want you to look like a silly. So what? is going on with this thing. No frills means minimal. So it comes right out of the box, ready to go. It's not gonna be the most advanced carrier, but it's gonna be plenty to get you through. So on the back here, we have a standard Molly webbing. We don't have any external cummerbund attachment that might lift up and have Velcro. It's just Molly on the back. Our cummerbund is a full Molly tube that runs all the way around. So you're getting that full 360 Molly so you can attach whatever attachments you want. You can add holsters, ouch pouches, um, IFAX, uh, radio equipment, whatever you want that you can Molly through there, we've got you and it's gonna fit. On the back, it's attached by two bungees here. So you kind of get that stretch like you would from our Battle Vest Lite with the elastic in the back, but this is full Molly attached with elastic, so that's what gives you the stretch. Might not be as much, but it's gonna be enough to still remain comfortable and rigid at the same time. It's a fun little mix. You should try it out sometime. So, nice and flat on the back. You can attach what you like to the Molly back here. Right here we have a Velcro carry handle in case somebody needs to drag you away. Hopefully that never happens. And let's go up to the shoulders here. So right here, it comes with integrated shoulder pads. It's gonna include these when you get it. You can take them off if you want. I wouldn't, that's a little bit of extra, you know, shoulder uh, comfort, as well as it allows cable management. What is cable management? So let's say you're working with radios or push to talks, or maybe you just have a camelback on your bag. Like maybe you want water while you're shooting. I think it's pretty smart. You can run that through here, whether it's through the actual shoulder pad or through the Velcro on the side here. You can loop this around whatever cable you need or whatever camelback attachment you have that way. You can keep it nice and tidy out of the way. It's not gonna be moving around on you and getting in the way. Keep it nice and tight, right to you. Okay, moving to the inside. We have some super nice foam lining on the inside here, right on the important bits, enough to keep you comfortable while you're wearing it. It's not gonna be, it's not a Tempur-Pedic mattress. Let's be honest, it's not, it's not gonna be, you know, fall asleep standing up comfortable, but it will be fall asleep laying down comfortable. It's enough to kind of cushion everything and especially with a set of trauma pads in here, uh, you're gonna be able to wear this all day. It's comfortable, it's lightweight, it's, it fits the body well, to say the least. It, may, it hugs you in the right places. 
It'll make you look good. It'll make you look really good. You're looking really good. Mm, look at you. Looking so good. Mm. Mm. So this is included on the front as well as the back plate bag. It's gonna keep you comfortable. It's gonna keep you nice. Got some attachments right here for some maybe up and coming excitement attractions. Talk about that maybe another time. So let's move around to the actual plate bag itself and see what we got going on here. So both plate bags are basically identical in how they go in. We have Velcro right here. And then on the inside, we have two little Velcro tabs. I'll pull those out. These little Velcro tabs go inside the actual plate bag and hold your plate and trauma pad secure. So instead of just this little flap doing the work of holding everything in there, there's these two flaps that go in and hold down the actual plate itself so it doesn't wiggle around on you. So we have those on both front and bag, front and back plate bag. And then you tuck this bad boy back in and you're good to go. Now, moving to the front of the carrier. The most exciting bit, it comes with an integrated placard. What is a placard? What is a mag carrier mag pouch in general? It's something that is going to hold your magazines, right? Super complicated. But a placard, I understand that can be a little confusing for some people. Most of the time, a placard is something that clips in and you would fold it over the Velcro and it would hold your whatever it may be. It might be a chest rig, it could be just a simple magazine placard that holds three mags or whatever it might be. But this system actually comes integrated. So the cool part about this is, you can lay it flat and here you have just a straight molly webbing front. You don't have to really worry about it too much. You can lay it flat if you want and attach really anything you'd like. If you don't like the integrated system, just weave molly through and use whatever you'd like. But it comes, why not use it if you have it, right? With an integrated slot so you could use this as an admin pouch if you wanted to you could put your skittles and gummy bears in there maybe a map um, any miscellaneous items that you have and you just need to toss it in there real quick but it also has the direct convenience of being able to be used to hold your magazines and that is just neat and dandy how neat is that that's pretty neat it's what we call utilitarian. So this will hold your mags. We've got the pull tabs is what they're called. This one's coming undone. Need to retie it. I'll do that later. But this will hold your magazines. You can index them, pull them out, put them back in, pull tab back on, and that will hold it in place. Fun added little benefit. It's a little secret if you might. So this internal placard slash cummerbund kind of thing dealio also holds your fun 762 by 39 mags. So you no longer have to scour the internet, no longer searching day and night to find something that holds your fun Russian boy magazines. Check this out. You can slip them right in there. Good to go. Slap the tab on the top to hold it in there. And you're ready to roll, brother. Just throwing it out there. That's pretty cool, dog. On the underside here, just lift up that pouch, and this is where we connect. Both pieces of the cummerbund connect right here, and then this folds down, and you're ready to go. If you decide to use this as your mag carrier, which I highly suggest, there is also a little admin pouch up top as well. As minimal as this bad boy is, you got admin pouches everywhere. All right, guys, let me show you kind of how to put this on and, you know, fiddle with it, get it fitted correctly to you so it's gonna be the most comfortable for the longest time. I'm sure a lot of you know how to actually do it out there, but for those who don't, we got you covered. First things first, you're gonna lift up the pouch, right? Undo the cummerbund like so. You don't have to undo both, you can undo one, but for the sake of this video, let's just undo both. From here, 
The front plate bag is gonna go to the front of the body where the cummerbund meets in the back and is connected. It's gonna go to the back of the body. From here, you're gonna sling it over. Make sure it doesn't knock off your super sweet tactical hat and rest it over your body. From here, we're going to lift up the pouch again, get both sides of the cummerbund nice and tight. We want it to be secure to our body. We don't wanna be cutting off oxygen or make it feel like we're pinching too much, but we want a nice hug. We want Aunt Ethel at Thanksgiving. She's just gonna squeeze in there nice and tight and really let you know everything's okay. Maybe slip you a $20 bill. So this comes down, pat it flat, Make sure it's not going anywhere and the Velcro is connected. From here, if your plate carrier is sitting too high like this, where it's way up high on my neck and way down low on my back, you're going to need to adjust it. You might just have to, you know, kind of toss it up and slip it around and see if you can get it to a reasonable level. What I have been taught by people who are smarter than me and have more real world experience is that you want it right at the base of your clavicle, right where your kind of, your neck divot meets here, meets the bone. That's where you want the top of the plate carrier to sit. It's gonna cover the most internal organs that you don't want shot. You don't want anything really shot, but these are your vitals. These are the most important squirty boys that you don't really want to get shot. From there, the back plate bag is mostly up to you. I like to let it sit where it's most comfortable. I try and match it but you know, sometimes you can't with the shape of people's backs. It might look like it starts humping over. You gotta fiddle around with it and play with it where you want. To show you how to fiddle around with it, we're going to take this bad boy off and readjust the shoulder straps. Let's say it's riding a little too low and we need to tighten it up. So we're gonna come in here to the shoulder straps. I'm gonna undo it. Go ahead and take it off. It's real simple. From here, there's two Velcro pieces that connect the front and the rear plate bag. You're gonna do this for both sides, so just know it's a mirror operation. If it is too low on your body, you're gonna undo it and bring them closer together. So it was perfectly even, let's say it was too low. I'm gonna let this overlap a little bit, and now I've got some extra hanging off, and then make it nice and secure. Now I've got that little bit of extra, so I'm tightening it up. It's gonna come higher up on my body. Then all you would do is wrap this back around, nice and tight, and you're good to go. Now it's gonna be tighter on your body. To loosen it, you do the same steps, take off the shoulder pad, but now instead of pulling them closer together, you're gonna do the exact opposite. You're gonna let them be a little further apart. Try and match them up as evenly as possible with the Velcro and the sides, so that way as much Velcro is sticking to it as it possibly can. You don't want a loose Velcro connection. You don't want to be running around and, you know, you just kind of threw this on willy-nilly and it slips off. I've never really seen that happen. It might happen if some of you guys are running your Velcro out here and it's hanging on for dear life. Don't do that. Just size up a plate bag. So, from there, make sure it's connected nice, make sure it's nice and neat. OCD, let it kick in. We like things nice here. Wrap this around, over, fold it over, then you're good to go. Throw it back on, and you're ready to roll. So what does it feel like to wear this thing? Well, it's super comfortable. If you've worn our Battle Vest Light or our straight up Battle Vest, you'll know it is it's well balanced. It's comfortable. It's not gonna dig in on you. So the Battle Vest Light just has the PVC right here. You can get shoulder pads for it, make it a little bit more comfortable. But the Battle Vest Light is meant to be just that. It's meant to be lightweight, super duper minimal, absolutely no frills, 
hide it very, very well. This is gonna have a little bit more thickness to it, right? Even though it's minimal, it's a little bit thicker. It's made, um, the shoulder straps are a little bit thicker. The construction of it's a little bit thicker. It's got the pads on the internal side. So it's gonna add a little bit, not much, but it's gonna be a little bit more weight than the light. That being said, it's very comfortable. The shoulder straps, I really haven't felt dig in any more than a normal plate carrier would. Um, not in a dig in sense, but just like, you know, fatigue on the shoulders, on the, on the traps there. Um, the bungee on the backside is incredibly comfortable. It allows that breathing room. You can breathe in nice and deep. You don't have to feel constricted. If it was, ni if it was nice and tightly put on, you're not gonna feel like, oh, I can't breathe, but you can actually you know, separate this thing, get some airflow in there if you need, <sighs> blow in, you know, all the good stuff. So it's well balanced, it's nice. Let's talk about the internal uh, admin pouch slash magazine holder here for a second. If you wanted to, if you find yourself going, wow, I really like this, that's kind of all I need, but I feel like I wanna add a little bit more retention. I feel like I want a little bit more security with my magazines. Well, you could always mock up something. You could, you know, sew together a little Velcro and a little elastic, slip it in there, and it might have a little better index point for your magazines if you wanted something a little bit more secure. Get out there, get crafty. I believe in you guys. You guys are my boys or ladies. Yeah. Yes. I've lost myself. For the price of this thing and everything that you get with it, it's really hard to get any better than that. So what are you waiting for? Go get one. Go get one for you, for your best friend, your, your neighbor, your dad, your mom, your significant other, your, your, your kids, uh, the dog. It's hard to pass up. The amount of utility and the price, it's, it's near unbeatable, my friends. Go get one, you won't regret it. Also with a lifetime warranty and an extremely great customer service team, if you ever have any problems, which I doubt you will, because I've been beating the absolute piss out of this thing. I think you're gonna be fine. Food for thought. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I was a goober and forgot to film an outro for this video. So anyways, this has been the Battlevest V2 by us here at Tacticon Armament. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it so much. If you could, please get down there, like, comment, subscribe. Every comment, every like, every subscription lets Jake know it's worth it to feed me. And I appreciate that. Thanks so much from here at Tacticon. We love you. Yeah, maybe I'll turn this way. Yeah, it's working looks great. Yeah. Cool. All right. Now I can talk about it.